folks, and welcome back. The Creepy Kentuckian here with you again for another Halloween horror review. This time from Arrow Video, it's the brand new 4K release. The 1984 cult classic from director Fritz Kirsch and author Stephen King. Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn is one of those movies, if you grew up in the 1980s, you remember the original movie and the 97 sequels that came out afterwards. None of them had the impact of the first movie, which still to this day has a creep factor that very few movies can replicate. So Children of the Corn is set in the town of Gatlin, Nebraska. A bit of a backstory in the beginning about a group of kids in the town that killed off all of the adults, parents and all that, and kind of control things throughout the town. They call their God, He Who Walks Behind the Rose. And of course, they're led by Isaac, who's on the cover here, and Malachi. Also in Gatlin are a couple of other kids that aren't really following the ways of the church with Malachi and Isaac, Sarah and Joby. They kind of want to do their own thing. They don't think what the children are doing in the town is good and all that, right? Also in the movie, you have got Peter Horton's character and Linda Hamilton's character, Vicky and Bert, who are just traveling through and end up running down one of the children of the corn. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Bert is a medical doctor or he's in training to be a doctor or something like that. And after the accident, he notices that that body had been dead quite a while. Something is not right in the town of Gatlin. So they are off to investigate and see what the hell is going on in the town. And there's a lot of craziness that ensues, a lot of dated 1980s special effects. But also, I gotta say, it's got a desolate atmosphere, The Children of the Corn does. The movie kind of works up to a point, and then the, there's certain parts of it, like I said, that's dated and that does not do things, you know, like they could do now. But anyway, this is a new 4K edition that our good friends over at Arrow Video came out with. I think it's got the same artwork that the Blu-ray edition came out with. Um, but I gotta say, this transfer on this thing is unreal, man. It looks really, really good. I wouldn't expect Children of the Corn to look this good uh, on any sort of format, but it does. They did a great job with the transfer on this, but he's an aerial video, and uh, yeah, I was really impressed with this. Now, if you've seen Children of the Corn, odds are you have. If you're watching Dead Pitt's YouTube page, you've seen Children of the Corn before. So if you're a fan of the movie, this is definitely the ultimate edition to get. The 4K HDR looks great. They also have an alternate art on the other side that features the original poster art, which I really like as well. And uh, Arrow also on the inside. They do have a booklet. Nobody does this stuff like Arrow, man. So they're promoting some, uh, what it, I don't even know what the hell it is. They're promoting some sort of monster uh, Japanese goodies. And they have a booklet too, talking about the movie and all that. It's got some key art. And again, it's loaded with special features like I was talking about earlier. The uh, Some of the stuff that you have on here includes audio commentary with horror journalist Justin Beam, who we've had on the show before, and Children of the Corn historian John Sullivan, uh, separate audio commentary with director Fritz Kirsch, the producer Terrence Kirby, and actors John Franklin and Courtney Gaines, who played Isaac and Malachi, and I believe John Franklin reprised his role as Isaac in a couple more movies at least. It was the 80s, an interview with Linda Hamilton, which is surprising that they got Linda Hamilton to talk about Children of the Corn. You know, of course, the same year, Linda Hamilton uh, was starring in the Terminator movie, which became a gigantic hit. Uh, it's Return to Gatlin, a brand new feature at, um, about the making of and the filming locations and all that good stuff. Welcome to Gatlin, the sights, the sounds of Children of the Corn, an interview with production designer Craig Stearns. And yeah, there's, it's loaded with special features. 
Um, th this was one that I was really excited about watching again. It had been a while since I'd seen this movie. And Arrow Video did an excellent job with this. And the packaging on this is really great, as always, in Arrow stuff. Um, if you're interested, it's out now. just recently came out uh, a couple of weeks ago. Give it a watch. Go check it out. Um, you will not be disappointed. Arrow Video does an excellent job on pretty much everything that they come out with. I've never had an issue with any of their stuff. Great artwork on this. And also, if you're a fan of the classic artwork, that is included as well. Thank you guys for checking the video out. Uh, definitely appreciate all of your support. Stay tuned to the website. We will have more goodies up for review and more creepy horror movie reviews. Whatever you want here on deadpit.com. Give us a thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. Let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1.